U.S. citizenship for children, U.S. citizenship through a parents and amp, grandparent and even your great-grandparents, automatic U.S. citizenship for children by birth to citizen parents, acquisition. A child can, under certain circumstances, acquire U.S. citizenship automatically through birth to U.S. citizen parents, no matter where the birth took place. A child who is born to U.S. citizen parents, or in some cases, to only one U.S. citizen parent, outside the U.S. may automatically become a U.S. citizen. This is called acquisition of U.S. citizenship. If you like this video and want more free legal information about immigration law and naturalization process, welcome to like and subscribe to our channel. We add and update information about immigration and naturalization regularly. Our goal is to help you solve many of your own legal problems. The immigration laws provide for three main mechanisms that a U.S. citizen or immigrant parent can potentially use to seek citizenship for their child, acquisition of citizenship, derivation of citizenship, and application for citizenship under Section 322, when, this child marries, and has children. Those children may also acquire U.S. citizenship at birth, regardless of where they are born. This means that you can, in effect, get U.S. citizenship through a grandparent, even if your parent never realized that he or she was a U.S. citizen. Citizenship through grandparent. Brian Oslin's story. Brian and his parents and grandparents were all born in Canada. His great-grandparents were all born in U.S. Although his grandparents and parents were all born in Canada, they were all born prior to 1934, making Brian a citizen at birth. However, before deciding whether someone is a citizen based on acquisition, you need to check on the law that was in effect on the date of the child's birth. The laws governing whether or not a child born outside U.S. boundaries acquires U.S. citizenship from his or her parents have changed several times, and set different requirements for the passing on and retaining of citizenship. Most laws regarding acquisition of citizenship require that the parent, the child, or both have spent some time living in the United States had residence there. Sometimes the residence is required to have been for a specified length of time, such as five years, and sometimes it is not. When the law doesn't say exactly how long the residence period must have been, you can assume that even a brief time, such as a month, might be enough, depending on individual facts and circumstances. The key element is often not the amount of time spent in the U.S. but whether or not you can convince U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, USCIS or the State Department that the parent had established a residence in the U.S. and wasn't just visiting. If the stay meets the characteristics of residence, the exact length of time doesn't matter. Below is a brief summary of the laws in effect during different time periods. Child born prior to May 24, 1934. Child born between May 25, 1934 and January 12, 1941. Child born between January 13, 1941 and December 23, 1952. Child born between December 24, 1952 and November 13, 1986. Child born prior to May 24, 1934 If you were born before 1934, the law said that only your U.S. citizen father, not mother, could pass citizenship unto you. The father must have resided in the U.S. at some time before the child's birth. The law didn't require any particular length of residence. Child born between May 25, 1934, and January 12, 1941. If you were born between January 13, 1941, and December 23, 1952, 
Both your parents were U.S. citizens, and at least one parent had a prior residence in the U.S. You automatically acquired U.S. citizenship at birth, with no conditions to keeping it. Child born between May 25, 1934, and January 12, 1941 you could also get U.S. citizenship if only one of your parents was a U.S. citizen, as long as that parent had a prior U.S. residence. If your U.S. citizenship came from only one parent, you too would have been required to reside in the citizenship you got at birth. Child born between May 25, 1934, and January 12, 1941 Alternatively, you could retain citizenship if your non-citizen parent naturalized before you turned 18 and you began living in the U.S. permanently before age 18. Otherwise, your citizenship would be lost. Child born between May 25, 1934, and January 12, 1941. If the one U.S. citizen parent was your father and your birth was illegitimate, took place while your parents weren't married, the same rules applied, on the condition that your father legally legitimated you, acknowledged paternal responsibility. Citizenship was passed at the time of legitimating without regard to your age, so long as you had met the retention requirements. Child born between January 13, 1941, and December 23, 1952 if you were born between January 13, 1941, and December 23, 1952, both your parents were U.S. citizens, and at least one parent had a prior residence in the U.S., you automatically acquired U.S. citizenship at birth, with no conditions to keeping it. Child born between January 13, 1941, and December 23, 1952 if only one parent was a U.S. citizen, that parent must have resided in the U.S. for at least 10 years before your birth. At least five of those years must have been after that parent reached the age of 16. Child born between January 13, 1941, and December 23, 1952 with a parent thus qualified, you acquired U.S. citizenship at birth, but with conditions for keeping it. You must have resided in the U.S. for at least two years between the ages of 14 and 28. Alternatively, if your non-citizen parent naturalized before you turned 18 and you began living in the U.S. permanently before age 18, you could retain your U.S. citizenship. Child born between January 13, 1941 and December 23, 1952 as a result of a U.S. Supreme Court decision, if you were born after October 9, 1952. Your parents still had to fulfill the residence requirement in order to pass citizenship onto you, but your own residence requirements for retaining U.S. citizenship were abolished. You need not have lived in the U.S. at all. Child born between January 13, 1941 and December 23, 1952 if your one U.S. citizen parent was your father and your birth was illegitimate took place while your parents weren't married, the same rules applied provided you were legally legitimated, your father acknowledged paternal responsibility, prior to your 21st birthday and you were unmarried at the time of legitimating. Child born between December 24, 1952, and November 13, 1986 if at the time of your birth, both your parents were U.S. citizens and at least one had a prior residence in the U.S., you automatically acquired U.S. citizenship, with no other conditions for keeping it. Child born between December 24, 1952, and November 13, 1986 if only one parent was a U.S. citizen at the time of your birth, that parent must have resided in the U.S. for at least 10 years. And at least five of those years must have been after your parent reached the age of 14. Child born Betwin between December 24, 1952, and November 13, 1986 and if your one U.S. citizen parent is your father and your birth was illegitimate, took place while your parents weren't married, the same rules apply, provided you were legally legitimated, your father acknowledged paternal responsibility, prior to your 21st birthday and you were unmarried at the time of legitimating. Child born between November 14, 1986, and the present. If at the time of your birth, 
Both your parents were U.S. citizens and at least one had a prior residence in the U.S. You automatically acquired U.S. citizenship, with no conditions for keeping it. Child born between November 14, 1986, and the present if only one parent was a U.S. citizen at the time of your birth, that parent must have resided in the U.S. for at least five years, and at least two of those years must have been after your parent reached the age of 14. Child born between November 14, 1986, and the present. Even with only one U.S. citizen parent, there are still no conditions to keeping your citizenship. If your one U.S. citizen parent is your father and your birth was illegitimate, took place when the parents weren't married, the same rules apply so long as you were legally legitimated, your father acknowledged paternal responsibility, before your 18th birthday. Child born between November 14, 1986, and the present in addition, your father must have established paternity prior to your 18th birthday either by acknowledgement or by court order, and must have stated, in writing, that he would support you financially until your 18th birthday. What to do if you didn't meet the requirements for retaining your U.S. citizenship if you were born and raised outside the U.S.? You may have not known that you acquired U.S. citizenship at birth from your parents or grandparents. You may have then lost your U.S. citizenship by failing to fulfill the requirements related to U.S. residency. The U.S. Congress sought to deal with this unfair situation by adding a law saying that such persons can get their U.S. citizenship back by simply taking the oath of allegiance to the United States. It is not necessary that the person apply for naturalization. Contact a U.S. consulate or U.S.'s office for more information. The relevant statute is 8 U.S.C. Section 1435, D. 1, INA. Section 324, D. 1, 